Did you see the new com uh, company Aaron Musk is forming called Neuralink? Just read their website description and tell me your thoughts on No, I haven't seen it, uh, Jackson. But I know Musk is, uh, have, has talked about AI and transhumanism. For me, it's not AI that really is, uh, is what's uh, immediate concern or the near future concern uh, or interesting field to be in. I think the interesting stuff is automation for sure and transhumanism, the merging of biology and technology. I think that's where AI will branch off, unless we already have AI with all the data in place with the search engines and stuff, but I doubt it. Their website is exactly what you described. Neuralink is developing ultra high bandwidth brain machines interfaces to connect humans and computers. Oh, so it's a transhuman thing. It's not an AI thing. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's the direction, right? That's the direction. Scary. Okay, not because we're not going to go there. We are going to go there. Uh, where it's, uh, it's problematic is because the centralization of power. We're seeing it in education we're seeing in economics we're seeing in politics we're seeing in, in pharmaceuticals we're seeing it in technology right so there's a lot of power in very few hands right now we need to correct that we need to correct that I think the scientists will never be able to create any scary AI because uh, they function only based on intellect intellect is just uh, dissection and humans have another dimension inside which can be explored so their research or consciousness can never be achieved because they function only by intellect the thing uh, uh, Jackson uh, the thing with this is I don't think humans are going to be will create will be the instigators because of our technology and stuff like this but I don't think we'll program AI. I think AI will program itself. Okay. The question is, will we, when it occurs, if it occurs, okay, let's put an if in there, but let's put also consider when it occurs. When AI comes online, the odds are we won't be aware of it. Not until AI does what it decides to do. Okay. It might decide to live anonymously within our current technological system right and let humanity play itself out right and just all it would need to do is direct humanity in a in, in a direction where without humanity it could still grow right so uh, there is the possibility that we might not even be aware of the AI there might be the possibility if AI ever comes online, right? We'll know about it a second later, <laughs> right? Either for good or ill, doesn't make a difference, okay? But I think before we see anything like this happening, we're gonna see some kind of technology-based uh, separation of sort of class systems with transhumanism those who have access to certain types of technology and those who don't where these these people will go who knows where these people will go who knows but we're i think we're seeing that right now um, i believe okay i think we also assume without really knowing that once ai becomes conscious they will want to remain sentient we have nothing to indicate that will actually be the case it's all speculation they will want to remain sentient mm -hmm. good uh, good take on it in this I didn't think about that or what do you mean will they just exist like mini black holes they'll exist and go I'm done and disappear again commit suicide is that what you mean? I've never thought about that, possibly. Because a second 
I mean, consider how fast we are with technology right now relative to like 20, 30 years ago, right? By the time AI rolls out, just imagine how much could be processed in a, in a second, right? Or a minute. So maybe the lifespan of AI would be very short. That's a great, great, great point, Index. Never thought about that. We would have constant AIs coming to life and disappearing, just like black holes, mini black holes. And then maybe we would have pockets of AIs. Exactly. If they have, uh, they have post-human levels of knowledge, will they want to remain in a society uh, replete with chaos and sadness? I don't think for them, it, if an AI comes online, will they be, will, will they consider our sadness to be their sadness or its sadness? Like, do we consider the sadness of a rabbit in the forest to be our sadness? There are some people that do care for the rabbits in the forest who spend a lot of time and energy trying to protect them. But out of the seven plus billion humans, what percentage of those really care about the rabbit in the forest, right? If an AI comes online, will be even will we be even an afterthought, or will we be considered just a part of his technology uh, tools that it or they will need to use to make sure they have a longevity, right? where they'll be able to have a larger database and you know reach out into space if they want to create rockets where a section of the ai can be sent off into space right because our bodies human beings we're not really designed to travel in space we're fragile for space uh anyway right so and we don't have a long lifespan to travel in space a lot of people have mentioned a lot of science fiction in the past has stated that uh, uh, the future of humanity is technology, is to transplant our consciousness into technology, right? And a lot of entertainment as well, and a lot of animation has done this. A great animation, uh, Ghost in the Shell is one of them, right? Upload our tech, our brains into technology. And if we do that, and if we're space-bearing species, right our future of humanity is in space right then maybe that's the way we travel long distance in space i don't understand how you interpret consciousness because you uh, uh your apprehension in your thoughts but that is only intelligence i i don't know consciousness is a good question right consciousness our thoughts our emotions these have nothing to do with consciousness once everything is well what are, what are human beings supposed to do human beings are supposed to be joyful blissful and do something that no mechanical thing can do a robot can do everything that can that you can do except it cannot meditate because there is no consciousness uh, one thing jackson i've read uh, techno uh, sci-fi and stuff like this and there are questions and there's animation and movies out there and stuff that has addressed this one aspect that you're bringing up right one of the things that uh, people say that ai will not be able to do is to create come up with new ways of expressing themselves right there was one movie i believe or show what was it uh, i think it was black mirror that addressed this topic where they kept AI had come into being and what they ended up doing was keeping all the artists alive in the world and they killed everybody else right so the AIs came into existence consciousness was uh, appeared and what they did they saved all the artists in the world and they killed every other human and from the artist they saved, I believe, if I recall correctly in that episode, was uh, a lot of the artists committed suicide in protest of what had happened, right? And some of the artists didn't. 
and the AI would visit these human beings to look at their art in awe and say, wow, they've created art, right? Are you referring uh, reference and conscious theorists? DMT, are you uh, referencing a conscious, conscious theorist? There are widely divergent theories of consciousness. As a programmer, AI are programmed to do very specific tasks. Those I would consider to be machine learning uh, computers. I don't consider uh, specific tasks uh, to be AI. We are a long way from self-aware. Yeah, agreed, warrior. I know about the robot Sophia, but even then, it's uh, only able to react within the limit of uh, programmation. Yeah, I agree with uh, uh, QC Warrior, right? We're way far off from AI. Transhumanism is the next stage, uh, as far as I see it. It takes a couple of million lines of code to be able to achieve this. For sure, so index, for sure, QC, we're just speculating. Yeah, we're just speculating for sure, right? And it's amazing to speculate because a lot of technology we have right now came from science fiction, came from speculation, right? Which is one of the reasons why creativity should be a huge part of our current education system, right? When you say transhumanism, do you mean a, a lot of the concepts thrown around in cyberpunk? Yeah. As a fan of uh, Blade Runner, Alternate Carbon and Dune. Oh, Alternate Carbon and Dune, awesome. I like what you like, think. <laughs> uh, it seems pretty interesting, very interesting. This kind of speculation uh, is, uh, is philosophy at its core. It's about applying logic to post-logical concepts. It's very creative, but it's grounded in established ways of thinking and arguing. The transhumanism can never be achieved through scientific technology. Science fiction can bring any imaginary entity to become sentient. Transhumanism was already or is already achieved by Buddhas on this planet. One who is above this intellect, one who is no longer a part of, uh, of his mind is a Buddha. So Jackson, just to, you know, comment on that uh, regarding interacting with technology there's a mindset that believes that when people consume entheogens you're actually interacting with technology created by other beings okay to communicate right there's a mindset that believes that fungi are the spores of fungi actually travel through space because they can live through space and they occupy travel to other planets to be able to communicate to other sentient beings right 